what did just happen with crypto everybody were just saying crypto is dead bitcoin is dead and ethereum is dead but out of nowhere bitcoin is just rising again from the dead once again and ethereum and avalanche and solana everybody is rising back from the dead but are they really is this really the end of the bear market let's check welcome guys once again to ar7 channel i'm glad to have you here once again this is the wednesday market update that we do here every uh, single week and today we're gonna check about bitcoin ethereum solana and matic you know the very kind of major cryptocurrencies and we're gonna check is this really the end of the bear market that we're having right now or is this a relief rally what could it be obviously now before we start that none of this is financial advice and nobody really knows for sure we can only check what happened in the history before in the past and based on that we can learn what can we what can happen again so uh, as we said we're gonna start of course with the biggest uh, crypto of all with bitcoin so so far so good you know finally we've been able to broke a really major uh, area so uh, if you've been watching the channel in the past uh, month or two you remember we before we dropped here we were speaking about the importance of this level of the 200 weekly moving average and we did get there and we even broke below and we almost got to the historical 300 moving average that we touched in the covid crash we didn't get there but we were pretty close and now we're finally out of the at least out of being underneath the 200 weekly moving average and that's a good start for bitcoin and if you ask me again none of this is financial advice but i've mentioned in a few uh videos before if actually bitcoin is getting to 23k or 22.7k and closes a day above which it did it could be a, not a bad short-term trade until it gets to 28k but once it gets again to the 28k then we're going to have the real real stuff kind of happen and see if Bitcoin is able to get above now. You know, there are so many fake outs in uh, the overall markets and in the crypto market as well. So, you know, even if Bitcoin does pop its head a little bit above the 28K, you know, we uh, in crypto, we have to be very careful and not to get excited way too quickly. And uh, if Bitcoin does get above 28K, but for very brief, short short of time it could uh, for a very brief time it could still be it could still be a fake out and then it could actually go down quite aggressively so um let's really analyze the history you know so first of all i wanted guys to show you what happened you know in this bear market so far and uh um so some of you who may know i actually sold uh really like 98 99 percent of my altcoins after this drop here we've had this major major drop it happened on december 3rd and 4th and then on the next uh, kind of little pumps uh, i uh, had to sell uh, my altcoins because i understood it could it highly could be the beginning of the bear, bear market and um, so anyway so look what happened here so we've had this big leg down okay that's december we've had the big leg down and then another leg down in january okay and then we have had this fake uh, rally uh, for three months okay so one month in this region of 40k then bam uh, a new uh, area for uh, like 35k -ish, uh, area in january then the nice really really nice pump here that actually surprised many many people including myself but again a fake out when we have type of a fa uh, this type of a fake out what could happen next is something like that okay so that's why we have to pay attention especially if you, these are fake outs so over here guys we did have uh two three months of, of more kind of established upward momentum in this um uh, dead cat bounce but we've had we've broken all of that okay so over so more recently in may this was the equivalent to december okay this was the equivalent uh we had a really major uh, leg down like over here and then um you know it couldn't sustain itself just like here for one month you know that took about a month and that also took about a month and then we had another leg down similarly to january you know it's very early to really speculate that we're gonna repeat exactly that and uh, it's even pretty unlikely like you know normally markets don't repeat exactly what they did but uh, they could still rhyme you know it doesn't necessarily repeat but it can still rhyme so there is not a bad likelihood especially because this pump is relatively quite aggressive and reminds me a little bit of these times too um there is a chance we'll repeat something similar to that so maybe at least we will have some bullish times for relatively bullish of course right in the bear market uh, relatively bullish times for maybe a month or two um but i have to mention i'm not very especially when it comes to like i also actually don't like that we're again correlated with the nasdaq pump 
and the Nasdaq is again kind of breaking out from this downtrend here just like it did also in this dead cat bounce in uh, early April um, so again like th there's no fundamental good news yet and the markets are, pump are pumping so that's why I'm slightly suspecting maybe it's the big money trying to draw the small money again back to the game and maybe again dump on them once again that's again only my non-financial advice my uh, opinion I don't know for sure if this is what happens but I think there's a chance this is what happens because um, look it's just not how we get out from bear markets okay like if we check uh, if we just go back to Bitcoin in its history you know you don't go out of a bear market in one month and not so fast like this you know normally when you have moves like this it's still it's still the continuation of the bear market you know this was that's how you get out of a bear market okay you see you have a multi month that's like the bottom was here in December 18 and you didn't really have anything significant up until April okay so you had like almost half a year for um, the market to relax to really kind of get accustomed to these new levels and then it finally broke uh, you know out of the bear market if we go further back in 2015 over here we've had even more time you see from January this was the bottom January 2015 and basically it didn't it did have this so you could argue this was kind of the beginning of the bull bullish type of stuff even though it sold off and then repeated but anyway even if you look at this as the beginning of the major uh, move which i don't think it is because you know like the, the way i see it the, the significant stuff was finally getting above the let's say 335 area so i would say over here it was more decisive in november the way the way i see this market so anyway over here you had 10 months of sideways action to finally have a bullish uh upward momentum and you know back here even if you bought like even if you didn't catch the bottom here you know even if you started buying here in march 2016 for 400 dollars and you know ethereum was like 10 dollars or something like that back in this time you know it's still not too bad <laughs> still not too bad to get to the all-time high of 20k if you buy it 400 instead of 200 when you have more confidence that you're out of the woods of the bear market uh, but of course there's also the possibility of just dca you know just buy a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here and that also works fantastic as well so that's what bitcoin i want to briefly show you also uh you know like bitcoin is still a market similarly to others so also here you know in the last major bear market of uh, the equities in 2008 once again we've had like five months of sideways before we started finally really and you know this these type of moves didn't really mean much and you know this was actually also the bear market as well so you know you had this pump but it wasn't sustained we did have this leg down um and this is 2001 two and three you know also here you know you need some sideways action so from this area july 2002 until march 2003 that's also almost a year so i think guys you have really like four examples two bitcoin examples and two nasdaq examples how do we get out of major bear markets it's not one month it didn't happen once in history that we got out in one month so i mean if bitcoin will start actually correcting sometime soon and not really pumping too hard in the near future it actually may mean that this is actually still the sideways action you know it just depends what will bitcoin do but personally if you ask me i think if bitcoin gets to um 28k 29k uh or even 30k but then drops quite aggressively and quite quickly i think it's very very likely uh another similar similarity to april 2000 uh, 2022 and not really a similarity to april 2019 okay so that's the really major stuff and everything i just said about bitcoin is very relevant also about ethereum but and all the rest of the altcoins but i still want to mention really uh something very positive about ethereum that i'm really surprised how it's actually outperforming so well um bitcoin really at this stage of the market you know because in the past bear markets when bitcoin was already in, in that kind of region when bitcoin was here uh in like the middle of the bear market in uh, 2018 you know altcoins were really kind of breaking uh, breaking you know so who knows maybe it's actually kind of a pump and then there's gonna be a really significant dump, dump after that but regardless uh what i'm trying to say in the last bear market we didn't really have a pump like this when we were so deeply into the bear market so i just want to say it's really significant from ethereum and from solana and matic and avalanche and other altcoins that they are pumping really impressively at this stage of the bear market because i think it does mean that we are 
even though you know we've had a really crazy bear market in crypto so far uh, i still think it shows that we are um you know in um especially for altcoins for big altcoins like solana we are much more in a mature much more mature market than we've been in 2018 so i think this is a really major uh, point and you know i mean ethereum is almost uh, pretty close to 2x since the bottom which is pretty crazy um lastly i want to say the whole move by ethereum uh, ethereum to bitcoin really surprised me in a huge way i didn't uh, anticipate such a big move here uh, in ethereum against bitcoin but I do want to say that still, uh, you know, like uh, it, it does look like it's faced some resistance here and uh, there's kind of a big wick here already on uh, Ethereum. So I do think it's still more likely that Ethereum Bitcoin valuation will go down from here. So not financial advice, but I think this is not a bad opportunity to maybe sell a little bit of Ethereum back to uh, Bitcoin if you want to accumulate more bit Ethereum. But of course, it depends on the strategies and what uh, are the overall goals of every individual are. So, um, yeah bottom line ethereum is really impressive and i think ethereum shows much more maturity than it had in the previous bear market so regardless of what is going to be the uh bottom for ethereum this uh, this bear market i think it's not going to be as severe as the previous one uh, but i think this still uh, this uh, these levels that we've mentioned here are still relevant and i'm still anticipating uh, like some front running so maybe the bottom could still be somewhere here um so that's for ethereum so solana and matic uh, will go for them uh, next so what we've mentioned in previous videos, I just want to show this again. Like I really love seeing, like I'm on the logarithmic chart, right? So if I'll do a uh, non-logarithmic, it will be more difficult to understand what's going on here. But on the logarithmic guys, for Solana and Matic, for both of these coins, I really love that look how like this is just an up, up, up trend momentum, okay? Like in 2020, uh, Solana was still like worth a dollar or two dollars. And we don't see the data here, but like in... Um, in uh, May uh, 2020, Solana was even 50 cents. So this is what we want to see, you know, the really successful coins. That's how Ethereum looked back uh, over here. You know, like Ethereum started here, bam. Like it still dropped quite significantly here, okay? The top was 20 and it dropped to like $7. Uh, that was Ethereum in 2016. But it just kept having, you know, more upward momentum and more upward momentum. And that's the really successful. The really successful coins, uh, Binance is another example for that they are just in a uh, logarithmic uptrend so solana and matic are definitely definitely fantastic examples of that so that's the very first thing that i want to show about solana and matic that uh, they are likely similar to ethereum and binance coin in the previous cycle that they are still in like even though you know solana is like 80 something percent down and also matic is 80 something percent down uh from uh, this high to this low it's still the, the momentum is still uh, on the logarithmic and on the long term is still up so that's the most important thing we want to see about big coins like solana and matic and uh yeah guys the you know this pump was definitely very impressive but you see solana is still in the same range that it was here which was a very powerful range because you can see there was so much volume in this re uh, region so it's kind of not very surprising that solana was able to hold these uh, areas and uh again if we're right and uh, we're gonna have another leg down or some more sideways action from bitcoin i think solana still can definitely have some wicks uh, here to the 21 22 area i actually think that it didn't happen to solana because uh, if some of you guys know um <laughs> what happened on solana is that we had a huge whale on solent that could have like capitulated a crazy crazy amount of sol and if sol would have reached uh, like here in uh, early june if Sol had reached $22, it actually could collapse so fast, so much more. So I think many Solana whales uh, and the Solana team and uh, many people who are strongly related to Solana did just anything they could to not get Solana to 22. But now you don't have this risk anymore. So now if theoretically Solana gets to the $22 area, this capitulation uh, uh, liquidation won't happen anymore with that whale. So uh, in that regard, everything is kind of good. Green, there's a green light for Solana to get to 22. So uh, I still, th it's still, uh, I still think it's very possible. But I just do want to comment that I do love to see Solana in this crazy bear market doing something like a 2x or something very close to that. And Matic, maybe our uh, really our last coin for today, that actually even did a 3x. That's insane. Like they also had really good uh, fundamental news recently, but. Uh, 
this is what you want to see okay the, the coins so once this bear market is more decisively over and you know either we have dca or we are start starting to buy in the more equivalent times that we've mentioned here for bitcoin right like instead of like you know fighting kind of the downtrend here you can just buy more decisively at 340 350 uh in 2016 so what i'm trying to say is that it's possible to do a similar thing with matic when we're gonna have a more decisive uh bottom for crypto and bitcoin uh regardless of what the price is gonna be right now is the time for us to see which altcoins are performing the absolute best and matic is it's a large coin you know to do a 3x for a coin that is a uh, number 12 or something like that on coin gecko is really fantastic so i just want to do a shout out here to uh, the matic team and to anyone who's uh, related to matic that 3x in a bear market is absolutely absolutely insane for a large coin so uh, definitely matic is going to be still one to watch for uh, the future um and yeah lastly guys i just want to mention that uh, one another fundamental reason why i think uh, we're not out of the woods and especially for especially the stock market is really i, I don't trust this pump okay uh, and, and we know that the nasdaq is correlated with bitcoin so if uh, uh, the stock market will be back falling uh, you know bitcoin can fall again as well but uh, you know I, I, I like you know it's not a geopolitics uh, channel for sure but you know the, the whole stuff with europe and energy and uh, russia is not very good and uh, as long as it's not you know as long as we don't have a better situation there in that regard really i i can't see any significant bull market happening until you know like we didn't really even in 2000 like in the wars of iraq and in afghanistan when the war started and all that stuff in 2001 and 2003 we had really made major bear market okay like uh the markets were not pumping here you could say maybe the, in 2003 iraq war war kind of started here but you see still the more significant pumps happened a little bit later so um what I'm trying to say is that, you know, with the geopolitics situation, until it's slightly better, I can't really see any serious bull market for Nasdaq or Bitcoin. Anything is possible in the market, but we're talking probabilities here. The probability is against a bull run in the uh, short to mid term due to the uh, really significant geopolitics that we have. And lastly, guys, I think I just want to do a really last uh, shout out to uh, Cole Dow. The last video that we've had, that we've had a really nice uh, success over there and we had a lot of... Uh, uh, new views and new subscribers and thank you very much guys uh, for anyone who joined me from this cold dow video and i just want to mention that it just keeps looking amazing so when i did the video uh the price was uh, like uh 14 okay 0 14 um and uh, now it's 0 18 which is pretty awesome so cold dow just keeps pumping since even i made the video which is amazing so and even cold dow did here like something like a two and a half x I believe something like that so fantastic times for anyone who uh, is a hodler or who is DCA but remember uh, markets are really difficult and we need good money printing from the Fed and stuff like that and good geo geopolitics good stuff like we've had in 2021 to really have a really major bull market so guys please don't you know stay safe out there do your best what's your best for your own position because it's uh, none of this is financial advice but just you know remember not to fomo never fomo never buy just from emotions uh it, it, it never works out you know it happened to me many times in the past and it doesn't happen to me right now um and uh, please don't don't give up to the fomo and uh please know that you know the really really best ways to buy is the way i see it is like bitcoin at 300 you know because it's just more decisively the bear market is over and you can buy with much more confidence in a relative larger amounts so that's what i'm personally waiting for but let's keep watching let's uh, keep watching the market and definitely if bitcoin somehow remains above 30k in a decisive way for more than a few uh weeks then of course we can reassess but uh, again i can't really see it happening in the near future so thanks again guys for joining uh ar7 uh channel once again uh, i'm glad to have you here and i'm glad to do all of these videos and to educate anyone as much as possible subscribe if you haven't already liked the video and if you have any questions leave the comment below uh, we're gonna grow this channel much more and we're gonna do a lot a lot more videos about fantastic altcoins that are gonna be amazing for the next bull run and especially what i'm waiting for is for the more decisive end of the bear market which currently personally i don't see it 
So thanks again, guys, for joining the video and have a wonderful, wonderful remainder of the week. Cheers.